Dear friends in Christ, welcome to our daily reflection for the 30th of September and Saturday of the 25th week in the ordinary time. Today we celebrate St. Jerome. He studied in Rome and was baptized there. He desired to live the ascetic life, but was ordained a priest. He was at a point secretary to Pope Damasus and returned to Bethlehem after the death of the Pope, where he settled down to the most important work of his life, translating the Bible into Latin and also doing some revisions which are still in use today. He is seen as one of the foremost in biblical scholarship. His works included commentaries on the Holy Scripture. For him, ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ. We pray through his intercession that we may have deep love for the word of God. Our first reading today is taken from the book of the prophet Zechariah, chapter 2, verses 5 to 9 and verses 14 to 15. And it's a promise of peace and prosperity for the city of Jerusalem. The city will no longer need walls. Jerusalem shall be inhabited as villages without walls because of the multitude of men and cattle in it. For I will be a wall of fire around it, says the Lord, and I will be the glory within her. The key to this peace and prosperity is the presence of the Lord in the city and his glory. For any nation, the presence of God means that the people are willing to follow the commands and follow the ways of God, which primarily is in the love of God and the love of the neighbor. How can we restore the glory of our nation? The answer is clear. We need to allow God to take the center stage in all that we do. Peace and prosperity has eluded us as a nation because we have been struggling hard only to fetch water and pour into leaky cisterns as into a basket. For as long as we allow our selfish desires to rule, it will be difficult for the nation to prosper. And unless the nation prospers, our individual members cannot prosper. In the gospel, taken from Luke chapter 9, verses 43 to 45, Jesus again speaks openly of his impending suffering. Let these words sink into your ears, for the Son of Man is to be delivered into the hands of men. Rather than actually take this to heart, the disciples were more distracted about temporal things. They did not understand what is said to them, and they were afraid to ask him. Humans as we are, we feel just the same way like these disciples, often very concerned about the glittering things around us, more concerned about the wonders God has worked for us while thinking less of the most important things we have to face ahead. What is your distraction at this time? Lift it up to God in prayer and let the Lord help you deal with it. Every admiration of the wonders the Lord has done must be related to the suffering and death and by implication to our own sufferings too. Without the cross, there is no glory. The Messiah is fully revealed in his suffering. Our own sufferings prune us and make us ready to take hold of that salvation. As we continue with the season of creation, the changing lifestyle that is demanded of all of us will also lead to a better understanding of our relationship with the other than human creatures. Such a relationship could be taken to the level of a covenant, not just a contract. As the Holy Father puts it, underlying all days, there is need for a covenant between human beings and the environment which, for us believers, is a mirror reflecting 
the creative love of God from whom we come and towards whom we are journeying. The transition brought about by this conversion cannot neglect the demands of justice, especially for those workers who are most affected by the impact of climate change. Let us pray. Lord, help us to number our days aright, that we may always seek to please you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.